happiness. Christ taught his disciples precious lessons in his Sermon on the Mount. These lessons in regards to the necessity of trusting in God, designed to encourage the children of God through ages and have come down to our time full instruction and comfort. While every person will experience happiness in the world at some time and at some level, only those who are right with God can truly experience real joy. Let the wise listen and add to their learning in Proverbs 1.5. We ought to have spiritual growth, so make a commitment to change, focusing on our strength. Putting yourself in a growth environment are we polluters or are we purifiers when we come amongst people? If we spend time with the crowd, the wrong crowd, in the wrong place, doing the wrong thing, we will never experience growth. Happiness may be for a short time, but joy is more long-lasting. Happiness is a spirited state of well-being, a sense of meaning and deep contentment. It is a positive emotion, emotion of joy and gladness and satisfaction. A person that feels content with their life or the ones that depend on God and are happy. Joy is a gift from God, freedom from worries and restlessness. Joy is also a fruit of the Spirit. You dance for joy, you cry for joy, you love for joy. It's improving spiritual and mental health. John 15, 11 says, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Knowing we have a Father in heaven, that loves and cares for us so much, we should be happy. Our relationship should be a relationship of gratitude, enjoying his blessings for every good and perfect thing is from above. We find in James 1. And joy in his presence in Psalm 16, 11. Kingdom focus, joy and happiness, forgiveness, optimism. We should not make self the center and allow anxiety and fear into our lives. All this turns the soul away from the source of our strength. Commit and keep in of our soul to God and trust in Him. Talk and think of Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Let us be lost in Him. Say with the Apostle Paul in Galatians 2.20, 
I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Our decisions have consequences. Remember Lot's wife. God tried to get Lot out of Sodom, but she could not get Sodom out of her. She thought of what she was leaving behind. She looked back and turned into a lifeless monument. When God says it is time to move, do not hesitate. Again, are we a purifier or a polluter among people? Let the wise listen and head to their learning. Proverbs 1 5. Be happy. Be joyful in the Lord. Amen.